until you change your mindset. Money can't help you. <laughs> a day later, I played that ticket. And won the Powerball. I don't need that kind of money. So I took okay, the uh, just for account. context, these are uh, parody of uh, Alpha podcast, you know, giving high motivation, those, those type of, these are actually parody. So, uh, the, yeah, 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 almost Friday podcast, they're funny. That, yeah, this is exactly what it's, <laughs> but I have not watched uh, almost all of them. Wait, hold up, wait, it's a chat, okay. I put my chat on this way and this one on this way, okay. So I've always wanted to check them out, you know, but I haven't got the time. So it would be fun to do it live, actually. At a gas station the other day, I noticed a person experiencing homelessness, homelessness. buying a lottery ticket. Okay. I was furious. <laughs> Instinctually, I snatched it out of his hand. I said, until you change your mindset, money can't help you. <laughs> a day okay. Snatching, snatching a ticket out of a Later, homeless I guy's hand. I played that ticket and won the Powerball. <laughs> I don't need that kind of money. So I took out the lump sum, dumped it in a garbage can, oh, no. and lit it on fire. Oh no. That same man approached, warmed his hands over the fire. <laughs> he said, this is the warmest I've been in months. <laughs> and I said, I hope so. Because it cost you $75 million. Oh. Yeah, the shorts are hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> When you stop caring about what other people think, anything is possible. Okay, You'll when you, when you stop caring about what other people think, anything is possible. Okay, good, good. Hey, take notes, everybody. Take notes. Anything is possible. <laughs> You'll never make it. I don't care. Dad, yeah. my stomach hurts. I don't care. I don't you care. can't microdose cyanide. I don't <laughs> care. Sir, please. You can't microdose cyanide. I don't care. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't care. Sir, Goggins type, you know, motivation right there. Stay hard. Oh, you're a cripple. So, uh, get get off your lazy ass and start running. Stay hard. <laughs> uh, even God will leave you alone. Even God will leave you alone. <laughs> trust me, I'm right. Oh yeah, this is another uh, wordplay on that uh, thing of trust me, bro. Like, what's your source? Trust me, bro. <laughs> I love this. I don't care what you have a PhD in. If you cannot physically overpower me, you cannot tell me what to do. Ah, nice, it's that nice. simple. If you cannot Last physically year. overpower me, you cannot tell me what to do. <laughs> yeah, get out of the wheelchair, you weakling. And also this uh, Gary Vaynerchuk, those uh, in his, like, uh, when his videos were shared a lot, like, F your mom, F your grandpa, F this, F that, like, it was, uh, okay, it's all about, if you, if you don't work 25 hours a day, every day of your life, for the next 70 years, then you're a loser, like, that type of, that type of alpha grind set, you know, you cannot tell me what to do, it's that simple, last year a doctor claimed my life was in danger, he said I needed my appendix removed immediately, I said, uh -huh. sure thing, doc, why don't you come and take it from me? <laughs> I guess it's still rotting in my stomach. <laughs> okay, appendix, like your appendix is a, um, it's not necessary part of your body. So even if you remove your appendix, you will still live. But let's say if you it has a infection or a cancer, then it's best to remove it. So like, like remove the cancer cell so that it doesn't spread. <laughs> and and this is a dig on that. Like, oh, you want my appendix removed? Take it from me. <laughs> Why don't you come? And take it from me. I guess it's still rotting in my stomach. <laughs> guess what's still rotting in my stomach? Let's see exactly. <laughs> Trust me, I'm right. My son asked you this summer. He wanted to whoa, whoa, get whoa, whoa, active. Whoa. <laughs> like between each uh, video, we do that take time to breathe and laugh it out before going to the next one because they're just golden. They're golden. I love this. Mm, just a sec. Yeah. Play. My son asked to go to camp this summer. He uh -huh. wanted to get active, be outside, make some friends. So tomorrow's okay. his first day. Uh huh. Working construction. Working <laughs> person team. That's a lot of friends. <laughs> Working construction. <laughs> These are golden. These are golden. Summer. He wanted to get active, be outside, make some friends. So tomorrow's his first day. 
working construction. Working construction. <laughs> team. Was- That's a lot of friends. And by definition, he will be outside <laughs> and active till the job is done. Is done. Summer camp? Summer- really? <laughs> Grow up. Disney Channel. You're nine years old. <laughs> nine years old. Oh, good child labor. Uh, hey, drink water. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's perfect. Dad, I want to go outside. Oh yeah, you're going to construction. Oh, I love this. I love Active this. till the job is done. <laughs> Summer camp? Really? Grow up. You're nine years old. You're nine years old. Oh, <laughs> uh, you don't have to be 18 to start working in construction. You have to be. If you can physically walk, then you're going to construction. You're going to McDonald's. Okay, you're mowing lawns. Hell, you're going to build the football stadium in Qatar. <laughs> On the first Friday of every month, I email new hires about a pizza party in the break room. Here's the catch. My office doesn't have a break room, and I didn't buy any right. pizza. Wait, wait, you thought Someone asked me my where- office doesn't have a break room or, uh, or, a, or Wi-Fi. I'm tired of digging these holes, Graf. <laughs> well, that's too damn bad. You're going to work them fields, boy. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> if you know, you know. You're gonna keep digging those holes, boy. Hires about a pizza party in the break room. Here's the catch. My uh, office doesn't have a break room. Or I didn't buy any pizza. If someone asks me where any of that stuff is, I make one phone call and voila. Now you work at Papa John's, you lazy <laughs> fuck. Enjoy your pizza okay. party. My office does not have a restroom or a pizza place or Wi-Fi. <laughs> One phone call, and voila. Now you work at Papa John's, you lazy fuck. <laughs> Enjoy your pizza party. <laughs> yeah, I was at the gym, lady. The, the fr- uh, jokes, office jokes that uh, taking cigarette breaks or taking coffee breaks. You don't get coffee breaks. You don't get pizza breaks. You work. Or you don't want to work here? You work at Papa John's. You go work at Baskin and Robbins. You go shake the fries at McDonald's. I was at the gym last night and the lady at the front desk told me to enjoy my workout. <laughs> Is that a fucking joke? That I cancel my membership on the spot. You think I'm here to have fun? I'm wearing a diaper right now. What I'm about to do to myself should be illegal. If these aren't the worst 90 minutes of my entire life, then I didn't train harder than last time. Enjoy oh, my workout. Nice, nice. That's the exact the David Goggins level. Uh, if you don't run till your feet bleed and every single bones in your feet are broken, then you're not working hard enough. Stay hard. Like, like, what do you want me to do? I'm out of breath. Oh, you out of breath? How about drowning? How about drowning? Who's going to carry the damn logs? Is that a fucking joke? <laughs> I canceled my membership on the spot. You think I'm here to have fun? I'm wearing a diaper right now. What I'm about to do to myself should be illegal. If these aren't the worst 90 minutes of my entire life, then I didn't train harder Harder than last time. Enjoy my workout? No. No. Enjoy cleaning my piss vomit and pre-workout off the squat rack. Nice, nice, nice. That's a golden statement. Enjoy cleaning my piss vomit and pre-workout on the squat rack. Vomit pre-workout off the squat rack. (laughs) Nice. Uh, the it's music not about is how hard you get, it's about how hard you get whoa, hit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's like, oh, uh, this character's name, as in whoever he's portraying, uh, Brian Bishop. Yeah, the character's name is Brian Bishop. So, it's not about how hard you hit, it's about it's how not... hard you get hit and yes. keep going. Forget about the gym. Fuck okay. getting stronger. Get sick. Get Good. seriously injured. Real warriors spend the year lifting two pound weights in a rehab facility. For you. Real <laughs> warriors go to work with mom. <laughs> Two pound weights in a rehab facility. <laughs> Jim, fuck getting stronger. Get sick. Get seriously injured. Real warriors spend the year lifting two pound weights in a rehab facility. For Real them. warriors go to work with mono and spread it to other potential warriors. It's not about being stronger. <laughs> nice. Nice. In a rehab facility pool. Real warriors, warriors go to work with those are the guys on the podcast but this guy goes on there a lot oh yeah <laughs> yeah this character he's playing uh, brian bishop the company this. doesn't have an hr department <laughs> because they're com- the company doesn't have an hr department because they're a complete waste of resources uh-huh okay somebody has an issue they can take it up with me literally whatever happened to you do it to me <laughs> if i have a problem then we can talk i have 1372 oh, that's, that's a good one that's a good one Ooh, that's a good one. Hold up. 
it turns a waste of resources. Whatever happened to you, do it to me. Please and if I feel bad... If somebody has an issue, they can take it up with me. Literally. Literally. Whatever happened to you, do it to me. If I have a problem, then we can talk. I have 1,372 <laughs> filed complaints. Only one has bothered me. 1,000 cases filed against. I have 1,372 filed complaints. Only one has bothered me. Only one has bothered me. And I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> this is no phone okay. number. No oh, that's man. perfect. That's perfect. Like workplace, uh, workplace, workplace. What do you call it? Uh, behavior, no workplace environment. Uh, that you know, whenever somebody has a problem, take up, take it up with the HR, take it up with the HR. Oh, I love this. I love. This. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> then you must be insane. If I want to do business with you. Then you must be fucking <laughs> insane. <laughs> so was Jesus. And let's make some fucking money together. <laughs> You must be insane, right? Then the placard shows so so was Jesus. <laughs> Look at that. So was Jesus. <laughs> I love this. I think Monopoly is a perfect, oh, perfect representation. And these guys really uh, perform some of the best commentary, like parody, parody on real life comedy. They're the best. I think Monopoly is a perfect, perfect representation of your asset and financial based literacy. In my house, okay. We play Monopoly with real money. I take $20,000 out of my children's college fund and fill the bank. For the next four hours, <laughs> 20000 out of a children's college fund. Oh. And financial based literacy. In my house, we play Monopoly with real money. I take $20,000 out of my children's college fund uh -huh. and fill the bank. Over the next four hours, they desperately try to win it back. They never do. Nice. My kids nice. can spend the entire. As long as you're crazy enough to pay for my self-improvement course subscription, yeah, hundred uh, percent. That's that is so good. These are golden. I take twenty thousand dollars out of my children's college fund and fill the bank. Over the next four hours, they desperately try to win. <laughs> they never do. My kids could spend the because entire year getting straight A's, but if they keep fumbling their way around that board, they won't see a goddamn dime of their inheritance. <laughs> Uh, because I cheat. <laughs> uh, they never win the money back because I cheat. Uh, that's perfect. <laughs> and I love how they actually make it look like it's serious. You know, those uh, Andrew Tate clippings that started to boom in 2022 onwards. And, and these guys like... Um, did the same thing but with over the top. Like, I, did, I did one live stream with the other character. Uh, Royce Dupont, if you if you know Royce Dupont, I did the live stream for him, and this is for the other character that they did. Like in all of their shorts, they actually look serious, right? And that's the whole point. People don't get the joke. Some people think it's oh oh you shouldn't be doing that. No, that's not gonna work in real life. Like it's a parody. It's a parody on real life. Like people don't understand that. Uh, this is amazing. If you want a kid's future, uh, take uh, out uh, a credit uh, card. Uh, 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 an audio desync. If you want to build for your kid's future, take out a credit card in that. Uh -huh. But not to build credit. Not to, to build destroy credit. It. <laughs> destroy it. I have 18 <laughs> different credit cards maxed out in my son's name, and his credit score is a dumpster fire. Without paying upfront in cash, he will never be able to buy a home. He will never be able to buy a car. <laughs> car. But he will have something priceless. Motivation. What are I started oh, with I love this. <laughs> so funny when people think priority is serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I maxed out my son's name and credit score. It's a dumpster fire. <laughs> Look at this. Wake up, stupid and idiot. Wait, let me rewatch this. Maxed out my son's name and score is a the dumpster, dumpster fire. fire. Without paying upfront in cash, he will never be able to buy a home. He will never be stupid. able to buy a car. But he will idiot. have something priceless. <laughs> priceless. Motivation. Motivation. I started with Wake nothing. Up. Imagine what my son can do if he starts with less than nothing. <laughs> I started, and uh, I think this is the parody on the saying that uh, if you are born poor, that is not your fault. But if you die poor, that is definitely your fault. So it's a play on that, I, I would imagine. <laughs> Have something priceless. 
Motivation. Motivation. I started with nothing. I started with nothing. Imagine what my son can do if he starts with less, <laughs> less than nothing. Than nothing. <laughs> And of course, uh, it sounds good in theory, but the reality is that the rich gets richer, the poor gets poorer. So, um, of course, th this is the whole play on that statement, right? The rich gets richer, the poor gets poorer. So, if I started from nothing and I built this empire, if my son has less than nothing, he should be able to do more than that. But reality doesn't work that way. So, I, that's why uh, this guy's humor level is so beyond... Uh, some people that they think that oh no you're giving the wrong advice <laughs> no. <laughs> like that's a that's like gta games are a parody on real life as in shootings killings and all those things so these parodies these shorts are a parody on real life uh, what what society has said you know office workspace money <laughs> in business or in life i ref used to put myself in a vulnerable position. I was scheduled for knee surgery this year, and right after they administered my anesthesia, I pointed at the doctor's empty coffee cup and said, two creams and a roofie. Two creams and right? a roofie. See you on the other side, asshole. <laughs> Ten hours later, that doctor woke up. <laughs> See you on the other side. <laughs> knee surgery this year, and right after they administered my anesthesia, I pointed at the doctor's empty coffee cup and said, two creams and a roofie, right? See you on the other side, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Ten hours later, that doctor woke up in an empty operating room with no wallet. With no wallet. I will never <laughs> let another man touch me while I sleep again. <laughs> oh, I will let another man touch me while I sleep again. <laughs> oh my god. After my anesthesia, I pointed at the doctor's empty coffee cup and said, Two creams and a roofie, and right? <laughs> See you on the other side, side, asshole. Ten hours later, that doctor woke up in an empty operating uh, room with no wallet. I will never let an man touch my wallet. <laughs> empty wallet and an erection. <laughs> operating room with no wallet. Uh, I will never let another man touch me while I sleep again. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. The importance of following people. <laughs> take a breather. <laughs> the um, importance of following people that you disagree with. Let I mean, me be one clear. <laughs> a follow from me is not an endorsement. It's a warning. It's a warning. I do not like you, then I'm following you in real life. Oh. The time you get that notification, I know where you eat. I know where you sleep. I know how many shits you take a day. And everyone in the comments is going to find out how much of a loser you are. Oh. You want to insult other people? I'm not going to tolerate that. I called Greta Thunberg a cunt the other day. So, oh, um, no. I think the first half of my video will get monetized and this this last part of my video will straight up demonetize the whole video. <laughs> it's not like I was monetizing this video anyways. That I would figure five people would watch this. Find out how much of a loser you are. If you want to insult other people, I'm not going to tolerate that. I called <laughs> Greta Thunberg a cunt the other day. Oh no. So, um, Just a picture of a breakfast. That's, a picture. that's where I draw the line. You just earned yourself a follow. Kids you just earned yourself a follow. Hola, hola, hola. You just earned yourself a follow. <laughs> that was Andrew Huberman, right? What was his name? Andrew Huberman. <laughs> oh my god. Kids coddled by rich parents are destined for failure. Not my son. On his fifth birthday, I dropped two full grown wolves in his room and said, Good luck. <laughs> Daddy's. That's like Spartan treatment. That's like Spartan treatment right there. Yeah. Not my son. On his fifth birthday, I dropped two full grown wolves in his room and said, Good luck. Good luck. Daddy's credit card can't save you now. Oh, my you little was raised by rich parents. He was raised by wolves. Oh, I love this. <laughs> uh, you're not raised by rich parents, you're raised by wolves. Literal. Literal. Luck. Daddy's credit card can't save you now. My son was raised by rich parents. He was raised by wolves. Oh, that's nice. When you lift, Ooh. you have to put Wait, your safety. On. Next advice. Let's look at the next advice. When you lift, you ha have to put your safety on the line like it's the last set of your life. Yes. And if I don't get 20 pull-ups right now, this will be. <laughs> Gamble with your life and your body will figure out the rest. Oh. And if it doesn't, I think the world is better off without you. <laughs> this is again a uh, parody on uh, David Goggins, <laughs> you know, like uh, work out till your bones break, work out till your muscles are sore. 
Reminds me of the song Amos Moses. Well, Amos Moses was the boy his dad would use him for alligator bait. <laughs> what? Yeah. I know that Spartan, as in the actual real life Spartans, they did treat their kids quite strong. I mean, they would just throw, not throw, but they would leave them in the jungle or something when they're at least old enough. And if they, the kid can survive, the baby can survive, then yes, that's a strong baby. Uh, and in, in this, uh, this particular short, he has the uh, water, pool of water with the electrified. So the, if, if his feet touch the water, he'll get electrified, electrocuted. Put your uh, safety on the line like it's the last set of your life. And if I don't get 20 pull-ups right now, this will be. Gamble with your life, Gamble with and your, your life. body will figure out the rest. <laughs> and if it doesn't, I think the world is better off without you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. That's nice. You are four Holy months away from having a six-pack. hell, man. Whew. You are four months away from having a six-pack. And uh -huh. you don't need any of that gluten-free, juice cleanse, bubblegum bullshit. All yeah. you need is sleep. sleep. You hungry? Go to bed. Still hungry when you wake up? Drink a protein shake and go back to sleep for eight more hours. If you're only awake one hour a day, you will lose weight. Bears shed hundreds of pounds during hibernation. <laughs> That's your fucking excuse. <laughs> I love this. Uh, you want six pack? Just sleep all the time. Oh, how do we do that? Bear sleep during hibernation. <laughs> What's your excuse? That reminds me of that comment where... Uh, you know those pictures of motivational pictures of uh, people with prosthetic legs climbing up the mountain or uh, old people there yeah, i think i remember the comment on the um, one with prosthetic legs climbing up the mountain was that she has no legs but she can um, reach the, the top so what's your excuse and the one of the comments said that her legs don't hurt like wow that is galaxy brain that is galaxy brain right there and that uh, 90 90 year old grandpa you know running that 100 meter race uh, he is 90 year 90 years old and still running what's your excuse then another common uh, commentator said that uh, he had more time to practice because he's 90 years old it's just <laughs> beautiful these are you know epic these are epic uh even this one like uh, sleep all the time and you'll lose weight bears does it you know all those uh, an animals who hibernate they does it what's your excuse i love this bears shed hundreds of pounds during hibernation what's your fucking excuse <laughs> nice nice people nice. say people say brian why do ah. you run so much i say this identify <laughs> the main thing in life that makes you unhappy in my case it's my son <laughs> i hate him so much once you got that Figure out how fast it moves. My son's a loser. So we can only run six miles an hour. I okay. just want to find the speed of my unhappiness. As long as it can't catch me, I can't be depressed. Oh, that's that's lovely. That is lovely. That is that is straight up David Goggins. Why do you run so much? Why do you run so much? I say this. Identify the main thing in life that makes you unhappy. In my case, it's my son. Oh. I hate him so much. Once you got that, figure out how fast it moves. My son's how a loser. So we can only run six miles an hour. I just quantified the speed of my unhappiness. As long as it can't catch I me. This. I have quantified the speed of my unhappiness. I love this. Uh. My son's a loser. So we can only run six miles an hour. I just quantified the speed of my unhappiness. And as long as it can't catch me, I can't be depressed. <laughs> it says they're too tired to make more money. It's a whoa, lie. Whoa, 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 whoa. You want to make okay. more money? Let me play. Anyone that says they're too tired to make more money is a liar. It's a liar. You want to make more money? Take steroids. <laughs> you heard? Take steroids. Take steroids. Says they're too tired to make more money is a liar. You want to make more money? Take steroids. You heard me. Take steroids till the only veins left are between your fucking toes. <laughs> and forget about the muscles. When your body needs ten thousand dollars a gear per month just to feel normal. You'll find a way to get that money, pal. Oh, nice! He said, "Counterintuitive advice. Um, you want you want to make uh, you want to make fifty thousand dollars a month? Okay, go do drugs because once you take drugs, you'll become an addict, and drugs are expensive. So you will figure out a way to make money. So be it by smuggling, kidnapping, extortion, whatever. Like the counter counter 
counterintuitive advice. <laughs> steroids. You heard me. Take steroids till the only veins left are between your fucking toes. And forget about the muscles. When your body needs $10,000 a year per month to keep you normal, you'll find a way to get that money, pal. You just might not like it. You just might not like it. Nice. And by the way, he's actually jacked. He's actually jacked. The average male handshake pressure. Whoa, 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 hold up. Mine is 4,000. Next. The average male handshake pressure is 98 pounds. <coughs> Mine is 4,300. <laughs> uh, the average handshake is like 90 pounds. <laughs> Mine is 4,000. 4,000 pounds would be what? Around 2,000 kilos. Oh, there no way your hand is going to survive that. <laughs> Statistics show 100% of gambling addicts quit right before they win big. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. And also that uh, if you interview uh, 100 Russian roulette survivors, so the survival rate is 100%, right? Oh, so yeah. <laughs> so that makes sense. Like, what? Oh, it's, it's so... <laughs> uh... The average male handshake pressure is 98 pounds. I the other day I was chatting he with must a have the god hand, like Hulk pressure, straight up Hulk pressure. The other day I was chatting with a veteran who lost his leg overseas, and surprisingly, oh. he said it was the best thing that ever happened to him. Oh, wow. He's to meet amazing people and give hope to other veterans just like okay. him. My friend Clint's birthday is also coming. He's uh -huh. a pretty tough guy to shop for. So I just hired two men to break into his house and cut both his legs. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Leg overseas and surprisingly, he said it was the best thing that ever happened to him. He's gotten to meet amazing people and give hope to other veterans just like him. I give hope to other veterans. <laughs> Clint's birthday is also coming. He's a pretty tough guy to shop. So I just hired two men to break into his house and cut both his legs off. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I was this excited about a gift. <laughs> oh no oh my god again this is another one of the dig on uh, veterans actual war veterans who get shot and you know they get the medal of honor silver star purple purple heart all, all those all those uh, rewards right so this is a dig on that okay so if they can get shot and do that that's like uh, 50 cent right 50 cent he got shot nine times still still being successful so it, even one of the movies made a, a word play on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Step on a landmine and survive exactly. And so yeah, just throw them on a landmine and survive. <laughs> like, uh, are you interested in therapy? Lovely, it's Minimal. lovely. Are you interested in therapy? Minimal. Minimal. Interested. Thank God. I'm telling you, the weakest thing a man could ever do is change, <laughs> because the second you change, you've admitted you're wrong. Women don't admit they're wrong. That's right. Oh, so why should right. you? You think I want to talk about being molested as a kid once a week? No thanks, man. No thanks. I'm good. I'm fine. I think I'm good on therapy. Thank you very much. Instead, why don't you just go take what happened to you, do it to someone else oh, until you feel no. better. <laughs> oh no, do it to someone else. You think women... Are you interested you in therapy? Minimal. <laughs> interested. Thank God. I'm telling you, the weakest thing a man could ever do is change. <laughs> because the second you change, you've admitted you're wrong. Women don't admit they're wrong. That's right. So why women never admit they're wrong. <laughs> I should you. You think I want to talk about being molested as a kid once a week? No thanks, man. No thanks. I'm good. I'm fine. I think I'm good on therapy. Thank you very much. Instead, why don't you just go take what happened to you, do it to someone else oh, until no. you feel better. It's that simple. That, that's just a gazillion dollar. <laughs> yeah, and I just gave it to you. I love that. It's that is gazillion dollar advice. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh, that's gazillion. I love the edits, and this also reminds me. Uh, uh, I don't know if the legitimacy of that thing, but or the President Bush was once as uh, was once brief that uh, two Brazilians have died uh, during an assault and. President Bush actually asked, how much is a Brazilian? As in, people from Brazil, Brazilian, Indian, American. So Brazil, Brazilian. And President Bush thought, how much is a Brazilian? <laughs> oh my God. He just reminded me of that joke. Oh my gosh. You change, so you've 
admitted you're wrong. <laughs> Women don't admit they're wrong. That's right. So why should you? You think I want to talk about being molested as a kid? One, thanks. I'm good. I'm fine. I think I'm good on therapy. Thank you very much. Instead, <laughs> oh, no. why don't you just go take what happened to you, do it to someone else until you feel oh, better. No. It's that simple. That That's just gazillion dollar. <laughs> yeah, and I just gave it to you for free. For free. <laughs> On the first free month, I emailed new hires about a pizza party. I just party. gave it to you for free. Oh my god. On the first Friday of every month, I email new hires about a pizza party in the break room. Here's the catch. Oh yeah, my yeah, office doesn't seen... have a break room. Yeah, we were seeing this. And I didn't. Buy... We were seeing this one. If you're making less than two hundred thousand oh, dollars a year, for, uh, I better. Uh, that was all the we have. We have looped. We have looped back. Oh man, we have looped back. <laughs> wow, that was perfect. Oh my gosh, man. Wow, that was fun. Family is everything. I love my kids. They ask to go to Disneyland every year, and I say we'll go when they can afford it. <laughs> I'm not talking about a ticket. I'm talking about the entire park. <laughs> this is the card I got my son for his 10th birthday. It says, "If you can't afford to purchase Disneyland at 1.5x market value, oh. and still think you have the right to enjoy its amenities, <laughs> then get the fuck out of my house." <laughs> oh, that's great. He bought a Chili's. That that's great. Well, uh, remember when uh, Eminem asked his manager if he can buy a Rolex? Was that, and the comment section was filled with, wait, Eminem um, calls his manager if he can afford a Rolex. Manager, what, the company? <laughs> like, no, just, just one watch, just one watch. Uh, so I think this is actual genuine advice out of all the other videos. Like, watch it again, watch it again. Family is everything. I Family is everything. Kids. They ask to go to Disneyland every year. And I say, we'll go when they can afford it. <laughs> when they can afford it. And I'm not talking about a ticket. I'm talking about the entire park. <laughs> this is the card what? I got my son for. Several billion birthday. dollars. It says, if you can't afford to purchase Disneyland at 1.5x market value and still think you have the right to enjoy its amenities, then get the fuck <laughs> out of my house. <laughs> He bought a chilies that next day. He bought a chilies that next day. <laughs> so practically, if you are one of the kids of Brian Bishop, you have to be a billionaire. You have to become. No, no, a no. Everything has a price. Um, Everything. Uh, Dad, can I get? So can I purchase this from Amazon? Or you want Amazon? No, you have to buy Amazon. Dad, I want a new iPhone. Oh yeah, how about you buy Apple? How about that? <laughs> Are you a trillionaire? Are you a trillionaire? <laughs> then I'll get you that iPhone. Oh, it's lovely. Amazing. No, no, no. Everything has a price. Everything is for sale. Everything is One for of sale. my students at Princeton University turned in an essay trying to refute me, and he was very adamant about this, that I can't buy time. Okay. Okay. So after class one day, I assembled a team of quantum physicists who quantum. built me a vessel that I used to send myself to the outer rim of our solar system. Okay. I returned to Earth 70 years later, having not aged a day. Uh-huh. I found that student on his deathbed. <laughs> looked him in his old, wrinkled, Oh no, oh no. returned the assignment. <laughs> he received him. He received an <laughs> Oh, that's interstellar. That's why the interstellar music was going on. Oh, that is so good. That is so good. This is one of the best skits <laughs> I've seen. Everything is for sale. One of my students at Princeton University <laughs> turned in an essay trying to refute me, and he was very adamant about this, that I can't buy time. So after <laughs> class one day, I assembled a team of quantum physicists quantum who built me a vessel that I used to send myself to the outer rim of our solar system. Oh my God, that's I returned so good. to Earth 70 years later, having not aged a day. <laughs> I found that student on his deathbed, looked him in his old, wrinkled, pathetic <laughs> eyes, and returned the assignment. And returned the assignment. <laughs> he received He received an app. <laughs> At a gas day. Oh my God, that was best. This is the best interstellar meme I've seen. At a gas station the other day, I noticed a person experiencing homelessness buying a lottery ticket. I was furious. Oh yeah, we've seen this. <laughs> we've seen this. Snatched it out of his hand and said, "Until you change your, <laughs> change mindset, your mindset, money can't help you." <laughs> a day later, I played that ticket and won the Powerball. <laughs> I don't need that kind of money, so I took out the lump sum, dumped it in a garbage can, and lit it on fire. <laughs> that same man approached, and warmed his hands uh... on the fire. He said, this is the warmest, the warmest I've been in months. And I said, I hope so. Because it cost you $75 million. <laughs>
Uh, I don't know this. I'm not really sure. So, with the podcast guy doing, yeah, improv. <laughs> uh, Say you're geniuses. making five million dollars a year and you want to make ten. Okay. Don't double down on what you're already doing. You have to become somebody entirely different. Uh huh. So find someone making ten million dollars a year. Watch them. Study them. Learn their innermost fears. And then replace them. <laughs> Lure them out of their home, throw them in the trunk of your car, oh. and make them disappear. <laughs> Congratulations. You just doubled your income and your family. <laughs> Using mob techniques. The shorts game is strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The shorts game is good. <laughs> Seek discomfort. Wow. People that stand. Seek discomfort. People that stay in the same place get too comfortable. Uh -huh. Move constantly. I move cities 10 to 15 times a year. 10, My kids can't make friends. I don't care. <laughs> On a micro level, if I'm relieving myself in a Wendy's bathroom for more than five minutes, I change stalls. Oh. I've never spent more than 10 minutes in a movie theater. My life is a movie, so you <laughs> sure as hell won't catch me in one. <laughs> <laughs> Even this short, this exact short is less than 30 seconds. Because again, it's a wordplay. So it's a matter. They're really intelligent guys. They're actually really intelligent. Seek discomfort. <laughs> People that stay in the same place get too comfortable. Move constantly. I move cities oh, yeah, 10 yeah. to 15 and times also, a year. Uh, reminds me of that saying, if you stay in one place, you become that place. So I've always rem remembered that. My kids can't make friends. I don't care. On a micro level, if I'm relieving myself in a Wendy's bathroom for more than five minutes, I change stalls. <laughs> I've never spent more than 10 minutes in a movie theater. My life is a movie, so you sure as hell won't catch me in one. <laughs> so you sure as hell won't catch me in one. <laughs> They're too coddled for the real world. <clears throat> Our lovely. kids are too coddled for the real world. What happened to all the tough kids, huh? Where did they go? Yeah. This is my son's bully. This I'm teaching son's... him how to fight. <laughs> Uncle Sam says I can't hit my son. Fine, asshole. Philip can. <laughs> <laughs> Who loves this shit? Oh no, what if he gets hurt? I don't oh. care. That's what life insurance is for. I can't lose. I so can't. help me God. My son will. <laughs> I can't lose. Okay. Alright, in America you have that um, child rights, child abuse. Like, look, anywhere outside of the western states, parents can hit their kids and parents do hit their kids okay and that's perfectly normal perfectly normal we don't have this wishy-washy kid saying that, oh no my dad like one oh yeah bill's character exactly like asian parents if if you're an asian kid and you have never been hit by the comb a sandal uh that thing, a spoon uh, all that if you have not been hit by those then you're not then your life is uh your childhood you have been missing a part of your childhood, really, really. Like again, like these uh, Western. When I say Western, like Canada, America, um, Europe, like practically these three, these three areas mostly. Like the child abuse, child abuse. Like, bro, what are you talking about? Parents can hit their kids. Black uh, black parents hit their kids all the time. Asian parents hit their kids all the time. Um, there's a Muslim parents, Indian, like. Practically, and all the you know, parents around the world, excluding a few uh, places of this West West countries, I get whipped as a kid, but that's it. And yeah, they don't do that much here anymore. I don't think. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. See, I'm not into the very again very realistically. I do think that corporal whooping is not uh, does not solve a lot of problems, but at the same time, it is required from time to time. Yep, it is required. It is required. No, that's that's not even a hot take. It it, it just is. You know those uh, privileged uh, privileged no manners brats because never been whooped. You know. So yeah, my parents who whoop they do keep their kids in line, hundred percent. Yeah, they just give them iPads. Uh, so this this is perfect. This this uh, this shot was perfect. Like, uh, I can hit my kids, but his bully can, so I'm teaching his, my son's bully. This is, this is actually good advice, you know? I mean, if you have a kid, whiny kid, I always wants mm, the latest iPhone 15 release. No, I want the iPhone 15 Pro Plus, whatever, you know? Like, all these demanding kids, privileged. Like, for those, those kids certainly have 
uh, needs a smacking. And ironically, those those type of kids are the ones who, e- even if their parents you know scold them a little too harsh, they would they are the first ones to um, say it's abuse or this and that. And so yeah, I mean, I guess that that's that's the line, you know, privileged versus uh, non-privileged kids. Our kids are too coddled for the real world. What happened to all the tough kids, huh? Where did yeah. they go? Yeah. This is my son's bully. <laughs> I'm teaching him how to fight. <laughs> Uncle Sam says I can't hit my son. Fine, yeah. asshole. Fine, Look asshole. Look at this kid. He loves this shit. Oh, no. <laughs> what if he gets hurt? I don't oh. care. That's what life insurance is for. <laughs> I can't lose. Just so help me God. I can't lose but so help me God. <laughs> That's what life insurance is for. I can't lose. Just so help me God. My son will. My <laughs> son uh, I can lose, but my son could Want to lose. Sign up for my new and, year's and since I can beat him, I'll teach my son's bully. <laughs> I love this. This is an actual good technique, by the way. <laughs> Again, uh, yeah, life insurance for a kid. <laughs> yeah. Any any other kid, excluding the uh, West, <laughs> I mean, Western countries, the this is applicable for there. With uh, other countries, yeah, parents are enough. <laughs> Want to sign up for my New Year's resolution course? Yes. It's real simple. On January 1st, send me $50,000 and a naked picture of yourself. And don't <laughs> fucking bother me for the rest of the year. On December 31st, send me another naked picture of yourself. If I like what I see, you can have your money back. <laughs> if I don't like what I see, I'm sending those pictures to my son. <laughs> your life is a registered sex offender. Oh no. Oh no. Is it worth it though? Send send Mr. Brian fifty thousand dollars and a naked picture of yourself. Of course, it's uh, real simple. On January first, send me fifty thousand dollars and a naked picture of yourself. Then don't fucking bother me for the rest of the year. On December thirty first, send me another naked picture. Of yourself. If I like what I see, you can have your money back. If I don't like what I see, I'm sending those pictures to my son. Enjoy life as a registered sex offender. <laughs> And do a live with a registered sex offender. <laughs> oh, that's <is> great. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> Wait, this just reminded me. Uh, Comedy Central also did a play on this. You know those magicians? Um, th- that magicians, you know, he, he'll be there naked. So uh, he'll be performing that magic show in front of kids. Oh, well, it's a parody. So it's a skit. So you know that how Harry Houdini. Harry Huni, he came out of streets and, you know, he escaped to all those. But uh, in the Comedy Central skit, uh, there was a play on, I will try to escape in two minutes. Or, or uh, if I if I can't escape, then my naked body will be shown to kids. like, so, And then I will become a registered sex offender. And that was just perfect. <laughs> what a meme. What a meme. I'm sending those pictures to my son. Your life is a registered sex offender. Fuck. Nice. That's hard advice. That's hard when advice. When I was old, too. my parents took. That is good. When I was four years old, my parents took me to the local mall where I could meet Santa and tell him what I wanted for Christmas. When he asked, I said, "Same thing as last year, idiot. Your job." Naturally, <laughs> he declined. So instead, I asked for five hundred and twenty-three. Five hundred twenty-three million. The price of an Airbus AC three hundred and eighty jet after tax. Wow. And then he went on to tell me I'd have to work hard to make that kind of money. To which I replied, you are not a millionaire, yeah. so you cannot teach me how to be one. Oh, I Following love I this. Returned, this is golden statement, Nathan, for you did something like that, actually. Oh, <laughs> yo, this is actually good. Uh, listen to this, listen to this. This is actually good. Like, Santa is not a millionaire. Where I could meet Santa and tell him what I wanted for Christmas. When he asked, I said, same thing as last year, idiot. Your job. <laughs> Naturally, he declined. So instead, I asked for five hundred and twenty-three million dollars, the price of an Airbus AC three hundred and eighty jet. After wow, tax. Airbus A three hundred and eighty jet. I think uh, how big is it? Three hundred and eighty jet. Yeah, three hundred and eighty jet. 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 The following year, I returned. Now an owner of the mall sat on his lap and fired him. Oh, nice, epic! Come on, this is this is actually one of the better, better ones, <laughs> better as in real life, practically applicable ones. 
I love it. I love it. Poor people don't know how to save money, so why the hell would you think they know how to multiply it? Poverty nice. is passed on in your family, not through teachings, but through elemental biology. It is written into your DNA from birth, and much like sexual orientation, <laughs> with my help, it can be reversed. It can be There's no <laughs> as making money. Much like sexual orientation can be reversed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. I'm the better one. <laughs> I'm the better one. <laughs> Unless that barista is working under someone else, so... Uh, I can learn to read and write whenever menace, I want. Menace to society. <laughs> menace to society. I can learn to read and write whenever I want. But why would I? Wait, Elon why? Musk, Bill Gates, cannot read. Can Bezos read? can't even fucking spell Amazon. They're all busy <laughs> being rich. Trump and Zuckerberg ain't the one reading your resume, pal. They're paying poor people to do it for them oh, and nice. then summarize it out loud. It's called an assistant. You idiot. <laughs> uh, again, this is a dig on uh, all the rich people read, 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 read. Again, very honest. I'm being super honest. I haven't, uh, I'm not a reader. I think book, front page to back page, I have, I'm not one of those guys. I watch a lot of, uh, like my method of consumption is through video. So, uh, yeah, and that argument that if you oh if you uh, look at the movie for example Harry Potter like the movie versus this one I don't I don't care I don't care okay uh, all those movies Fifty Shades uh, what Game of Thrones every single one every single freaking one like uh, be the book be the Bible be the Bible I haven't I haven't read the Bible from front cover to the back cover I have I haven't done that at the same time you, you know, I know of the stories. Noah's Ark and all that for every everything single thing right so I mean everybody has their own methods of consumption and uh, but yeah the reading part since video didn't exist back then so now it's so popular like the the main method of consumption is uh, video so that's why like, I grew up in this age mostly Gen Z I like how Ty Lopez taught people just a skim oh, yes 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 I remember this oh I what I read twenty books in a day, but I don't have to read it. I don't. I don't myself have to read it. I I would tell someone else to read it for me. Then I can just uh, uh, what they would tell me the summary of it, and I'll know the whole book. Like, what? <laughs> and also um, that reminds me, uh, there was another so many parodies of Ty Lopez, right? I should probably do that one next next time, whenever it is. <laughs> so that would be fun. That would be super fun. Yeah, I can learn to read and write when. Ever I want, but why would I? Elon Musk, Bill Gates, cannot read. Can Bezos read? can't even fucking spell Amazon. They're all busy. Oh, wait, wait. rich. Trump Before and Zuckerberg ain't. And everybody, as in this this era's kids, they say that oh, all these billionaires they dropped out of college. So why can't I drop out of college? Bro, they dropped out of Stanford. They drop out of. You think they dropped out of this your local local school like that community college? No, they dropped out of Stanford. They dropped out of Harvard. Like. Global level, these universities are at the global level, the cream of the cream of the cream, the tip of the iceberg. The, like, you talking about, uh, I want to quit college, quit school. Like, sure, if you have a multi-million dollar company, if you're set up and you're being rich, that makes sense. But other than that, like, no. Bill Gates cannot read. Bezos can't even fucking spell Amazon. They're all busy <laughs> being rich. Trump and Zuckerberg ain't the one reading your resume, pal. They're paying poor people poor to do people. it for them and then summarize it out loud. It's called an assistant. <laughs> idiot. <laughs> idiot. <laughs> uh, Picture nice. the line at Starbucks. I have to watch the old, the full, full on podcast. The Picture one this. The line at Starbucks going out the door and all the way in the back. Genghis Khan. <laughs> can't picture what? it, can you? That's because Genghis Khan doesn't wait in the lines. Uh -huh. Neither do I. Only difference, Genghis Khan uses violence Why and I fake disabilities. Either way, <laughs> Genghis Khan <laughs> uses violence. <laughs> I fake disability. <laughs> okay. You know, parking in the handicap zone. <laughs> can't picture it, can you? That's because Genghis Khan doesn't wait in the lines. Doesn't wait. Neither do I. Only difference, Genghis Khan uses violence, violence. and I fake disability. I fake Either it. way, no one's ever man enough to challenge us. At least no one was at that Mr. Beast meet and greet. 
at least no one was at the Mr. Beast Mr. Beast meet and greet. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> he faked his disability to uh, talk to Mr. Beast, I guess. <laughs> Can't use violence. Uh, I think society. <laughs> Either way, no one's ever man enough to challenge us. At least no one was at that Mr. Beast meet and greet. <laughs> Most people don't live their lives. They accept most people don't live their lives. They accept well, them. Golden statement. That's a golden statement. Write it down, boys. Write it down. You have to be, if you want to be in control of your life, you have to be in control of your death. I love this. <laughs> Oh, and my son's least favorite day of the year is his birth. And my son's least favorite day of the year is his birthday. I've made sure of it. I made sure of it. Here's the text I sent him this year. Nine years ago today, you <laughs> took your first time. breath, and with that breath, you became eligible to die. Oh. Someday I'm going to die. Your uh -huh. mother will die, and eventually, everyone you love uh, will be, be gone. gone. Yes. You will be old and alone. <laughs> And then you will die. Okay. There are no presents downstairs because your life and your happiness are your responsibility. Oh. <laughs> then I blocked him. No, no birthday presents, no nothing. <laughs> yeah, people who don't want to quit smoking. <laughs> the biggest mistake young entrepreneurs make is having a family to go back to at the end of the day. Okay. It's, it's just a waste of time. I run a company with 6,000 employees, and over the past 6, three years, 000. I've pursued a doctorate in family psychology and weaponized it into <laughs> subconsciously coercing each and every one of my employees into divorcing their significant oh. other. When I saw what this could do for my company's performance, I had to take it global. <laughs> in 2019, the divorce rate was 40%. <laughs> no. Now it's 50. <laughs> I've been hard at work. Family is everything. On. I, oh my gosh. <laughs> Mm. You know, this is, I think, uh, this is a dig on the hectic work life. Britain, Japan, South Korea, Taiwan, Russia, they, these countries have declining population rate. At the same time, their work culture is super, like look at even China, even China. Uh, still, China has a huge population, whatever we, but especially Japan and South Korea, their work culture is poof. Like, you know that the Japanese are super disciplined, right? Even if they're late by one second, not one minute, one second, then you are, you're out. You're out. You're completely out. So, you know, that is that level of discipline that they maintain. And no wonder their password is the most powerful in the world. So this is a dig on that. Family is everything. I love my kids. They ask to go to Disneyland. Oh, yeah, we've seen this. And I say, we'll go when they can afford <laughs> still, it. Still a golden. Still golden. And I'm not talking about a ticket. I'm talking about the entire park. <laughs> This is the card also, I got my son for his 10th birthday. It says, wait, 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 wait. If you can so how much does a, uh, you know, park cost though? How much would a Disney park would cost? Um, let me just search that real quick. Cost of, wait, one ticket Disneyland. First, let me check the ticket price. Mm, it starts from mm, $100 all the way till about roughly $200. Yeah. So between one hundred to two hundred dollars, and cost of Disneyland, cost of Disneyland. Now it doesn't show. Obviously, it wouldn't show, right? It, it wouldn't show that. But it's, it it has to be in the billions. Obviously, it has to be in the billions. There's no such thing as ma every morning that he goes to drink coffee. It's a net positive for him. <laughs> Everybody's an entrepreneur on the better one. <laughs> Your schedule's not too packed to go to the gym, and you don't have to cut anything out to make extra time. Just do everything faster. 
Drink all your meals. Park in a handicap spot. Go through traffic lights. Speak faster in meetings. No one's gonna understand a word you're saying. That's their problem. <laughs> That's their you problem. got shit to do. Don't tell me. Don't you dare tell me that you're tired. you're tired. I get eight hours a night by sleeping four at twice the speed. <laughs> Okay, I get I get eight hours of sleep by sleeping twice. Uh, I'm gonna go to sleep, man. What a great student. Yeah, 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 sure. Even I'm gonna cut off maybe five or six videos remaining, so I'm gonna watch them through. And yeah, of course. Thanks for joining. Just do everything faster. Drink all your meals. Park oh wait, wait, wait! That, that, that's a perfect way to go. I think, uh, however, um, how many hours you're gonna sleep? Just try to do it at twice the speed, just like our respected Brian has taught us today. Faster, <laughs> uh, Brandon Mayer, sleep, sleep for four hours, but twice the speed. <laughs> Growth comes through pain. The year I graduated college. All right. Growth only comes through pain. The year I graduated college, I encountered a man selling fruit on the street. He offered to sell me sliced mango. I was full, so naturally, I countered by offering him more than he makes in a month to oh. curb stomp my skull right into the concrete. <laughs> what? Now I've got a handicapped parking pass. <laughs> I haven't taken a meeting in 15 years. Oh, God. <laughs> I haven't taken a meeting in 15 years. 15. Not because my schedule is too full. I just have one simple rule. If you want to meet with me, come find me. <laughs> when does a king accommodate the schedule of a commoner? I'm not just going to give you my time. Exactly. You have to take it. Yes. By hunting me. By hunting me. U.S. <laughs> government's it. been trying for 15 years. <laughs> so in all honesty, I wouldn't bother. <laughs> okay. It's like Andrew Tate. I think Monopoly is a perfect representation of your asset and financial-based literacy. Okay. In my house... We play Monopoly with real money. <laughs> real I take $20,000 out of my children's college fund and fill the <laughs> bank. The number one time waster of 2023. Do okay. you have any idea what it is? It's Take listening risk. to podcasts. <laughs> listening to podcasts. Congratulations. You're a deadbeat idiot. What kind of loser <laughs> has an hour a week to just sit around and listen to me talk? Probably oh. someone incapable of original thought who just wants to regurgitate my ideas. Nice. No, seriously, you keep up, because you're going to be sweeping up floors at a gas station gas subway station. until you're 80. Oh. Holy shit, I can't believe you're still watching this. Do something with your life. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Stop watching podcasts. Whoa. I don't care wow. what you have a PhD Amazing. In. If you cannot phys I don't care what you have I, a PhD I, I, wait, 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 If you wait, cannot see, physically I don't care what you have a PhD in. If you cannot physically overpower me, you cannot tell me what to do. Uh -huh. It's that simple. <laughs> Last year a doctor claimed my life was in danger. He said I needed my appendix removed immediately. <laughs> I said, sure thing, doc. Why don't you come and take it from me? <laughs> Guess what's still rotting in my stomach? Uh -huh. <laughs> At a gap. At a gas station the other day, I noticed a person experiencing homelessness buying a. At a gas station the other day, I noticed a person. At a, at a gas station the other day, oh, I noticed oh, a person oh. experiencing. Ah. When you stop caring about what other people think, anything is possible. You'll never make it. I don't care. Dad, my stomach hurts. I don't, I don't care. care. You can't microdose cyanide. I don't <laughs> care. Even God will leave you alone. I love this. Wow. Brian Bishop, man.